Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Lake Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. Going to be doing the new energy coming towards Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I'm going to start out with some Oracle to see the energy that's coming towards you, new energy. Then I'm going to clarify with Tarot. I'm going to pull a past, present, future spread and see what I can get from your spirit guides and your angels. So if you're a cross watcher here, please flip switch the energies and rolls. Don't force any messages. If it isn't your story, check out other placements. Um, I do have personals available. If you're interested, you can connect with me through the email that's provided in the description box of the video. Show me the new energies that are coming towards Scorpio and what does Scorpio need to know for their highest and greatest good spirit. Energy surrounding Scorpio. So there's definitely someone walking away and someone not letting go. There was a tower, definitely a tower. And the tower is being validated as necessary. It is in the past because it's in the reverse. So there was something that was um, something that was destroyed. There's an ending here and it was necessary. It's validated. Validation for this ending, right? So there was a, a tower moment that occurred. It's a sudden change, shocking news, surprise, an epiphany that was transformative. But I do feel that's in the past. That's something that you're healing from. That's something that I feel that you've already accepted. Scorpio, we've got coffin energy. And that's death energy, right? That's Scorpio energy. That's rebirth. That's, the, that's letting something die. And from this death comes something new. It's rebirth, right? It says new beginnings, liberation, reborn, transition. After tragic endings, right? Validating that there was a tower moment in your past, Scorpio, but you're letting it go. Now, the death card showing up here in the reverse is interesting because it's kind of completely flipped to what's showing up. It says the relationship is over, no second chances, grow, transform, and what's dead is dead. So possibly somebody is not letting you go. Someone is still attached to you from the past. This is someone that is interested in you still. This is someone that wants to communicate with you. Bottom of the deck energy. It says interested, awaiting messages, calls, email, talking more. So this is someone that's still tethered to you, thinking about you, wanting to have conversations with you, hoping that you will reach out to them. But I feel that you're focused on something else, like you're letting it go because you see it for what it is. It was something that was for your greatest good. You you have accepted that whatever broke away, whatever fell away needed to because it was holding you back. It's over. So we do have someone that is not wanting to accept that reality is what I'm getting, Scorpio. So I'm going to dive a little deeper now with tarot. So I call upon Scorpio spirit guides, angels to validate this message for their highest and greatest good. Do not allow any negative attachment from this message, only energies of love and light. I call upon my guides and angels also to protect my energy. Do not allow for any negative attachments. What does Scorpio need to know in regards to this spread for the new energies that are coming towards them? So I do feel that you are going to receive some type of communication from the past, Scorpio, is what I feel. So I am going to pull past, present, future. And then I will clarify that accordingly. But we've got five of swords in the past. So there was definitely some type of deception that occurred. There was betrayal. Whatever that betrayal was is being validated by the, by the tower. So there was things happening behind the scenes, Scorpio, that you probably weren't aware of. But there was, there was a moment where this all came to light, right? There was this moment that occurred in your past where you saw the situation clearly and it caused a lot of pain. There's a lot of deception here, lying and cheating, right? And this is why you've decided to put an ending to the pain, to that cycle, because someone betrayed you. Now, this person that betrayed you is not wanting to let you go. This is someone that I feel is going to reach out and try and communicate with you. We do have the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Could have been dealing with a Sagittarius. Don't have to be, but definitely someone that was non-committal. Someone that you may have been in a relationship with, but this person wasn't acting like they were in a relationship. This is someone that was possibly lying, cheating with other people. Knight of Wands is a player. Right, So you were dealing with someone that was playing with your emotions, playing with your commitment, playing with your heart. Five of Swords energy that represents Aquarius. Now, the recent past, or sorry, 
the current energy, we've got the lovers in the reverse. So you're walking away. You've put a nail in the coffin because of this person's betrayal. So it could be a Gemini with the lovers in the reverse. You're releasing someone that you were in a commitment of love with because this person chose outside of the commitment with you. And that's why there was deception, right? This And, the, and that doesn't have to necessarily mean that they chose another person per se. I'm getting those vibes though. <laughs> But this person was possibly talking to other people. This person was not being loyal. And that came to light. This is someone that wasn't honoring you. This is someone that didn't see your value and your worth. This is someone that was very focused only on themselves is what I'm getting. So you could have been dealing with a Gemini. So that is the current energy. And then we've got the Knight of Wands again in the reverse. So this person has not changed. This person doesn't like the fact that you see them clearly. This person doesn't like the fact that you now know the situation in its entirety, but they're not taking any accountability because the Knight of Wands in the reverse takes no accountability. This is an absolute player that has no conscience. You, Scorpio, were dealing with someone very egotistical. That's all about, that's very insecure as well. That tries to validate themselves and their egos through the relationships. And this caused you a lot of pain. And I see, I feel like you see that now. You see this person for who they were. They may have told you they were committed, but they were definitely not acting as if they were committed. So I do feel this person was cheating, right? With the lovers in the reverse, knight of wands, five of swords. So take it how it resonates to the pain that this person caused you because there's validation for that. And again, I don't feel this person's taken any accountability in the current energies. Now in, in the future, we do have king of cups. I do feel that you are going to make a leap of faith towards something that's true, something that's tangible. You are going to make movement towards true love. And I don't feel that this is where you're at with this person. I feel that you may be talking to somebody new. Possibly you're still open to love, even though you have been betrayed in the past. So that could be why the death card is here um, in the reverse too, because the death is your energy. You, even though you've had a painful experience in regards to the past, in regards to a love situation, you are still open to true love, giving, receiving love. So possibly you are talking to someone where there is love, or you're going to be. So I do see there's new love coming in. If, if it hasn't already occurred, it could very well be that King of Cups energy is Pisces energy, right? You're releasing someone that was non-committal. You're not interested in that or this, it's validating that you did have a lot of love for this person in the past, but you're letting it go is what I'm getting here. So I'm going to dive a little bit deeper here into the past energy. Give me more on that Five of Swords for the past for Scorpio, please. Queen of Cups. So we've got Queen of Cups, King of Cups. I do feel that you are moving towards the soulmate connection. I do feel that you had a lot of love for this person in the past as well. We've got Cancer Energy. You could have been dealing with a water sign. This is someone that you truly were in love with, but this person betrayed you. This person broke your heart, right? This And, it, and because of the pain, because of the realization that this person was cheating, was, was acting outside of the commitment with you, right? It, it caused you to put a nail in the coffin and you walked away and you let this person go is what I feel. Bottom of the cup, uh, bottom of the cup, bottom of the deck, we've got eight of pentacles. You pulled your energy back. You stopped working for it. You stopped working for a connection where you were being disrespected, where someone didn't see your value and your worth, didn't accept your love, didn't appreciate your love. You're dealing with a player is what I'm getting. So give me more energy on the lovers for the um, current energy that surrounds Scorpio, we've got four of cups. So this person made you feel like you were an option. Page of swords. So you're in the place right now, Scorpio, of learning some very valuable lessons in regards to love, right? You're healing something within yourself, the four of cups, right? You had a lot of love for this person, but now you're starting to see that, you know, the pain that was caused was never about you. You were dealing with someone that was not of the same vibration as you. With that Four of Cups energy, it's Cancer energy, Page of Swords. So you're still learning from this cycle. You're still learning from this pain is what I'm getting with the Lovers in the Reverse, Four of Cups, Page of Swords. Page of Swords energy that represents Gemini. You still, you could still be watching this person or this person could be watching you. But I do feel that you're still in a place of learning. You're not quite through it. And that's validation for the current energy, but you are moving towards new love. I assure you with someone that is going to be on the level, someone that's going to have the same vibration of you, you're going to move towards commitment, Scorpio, four of wands, four of wands, Aries energy could be moving towards an Aries fire sign could be coming into your life. 
This is someone that you could be already talking to. This is someone that you think about. This is someone that you're always waiting to talk to. This is someone that you've been texting with, calling. This is someone that you're very interested with learning about. This is someone you want to know about this person coming into your future. This is someone that is going to offer you a very serious commitment is what I'm getting. So clarify the King of Cups for the future for Scorpio. Please give me more energy on that King of Cups for Scorpio. So if you've not done so, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your support. The more subscriptions and, and love that I get from Scorpio, the more readings that I will do for the collective. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Give me more energy on that King of Cups for the future. Four of Wands. So you are closing cycle with someone from the past. So there's definitely validation that you're still working through that. Still learning lessons. Could be in the process of a divorce. But the beautiful thing is that you're not letting it affect your heart, right? You're, you're doing the work to close out whatever it was in the past, but your heart is very much open to new love. If this person's already in the, your life, you know what I'm talking about. And if not, it's coming is what I'm getting here. We've got Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, Seven of Cups. You're not interested in playing games. You are only interested in someone that is going to value you. You're not interested in being with multiple people either. You're very much a committed person. You want a relationship. You want your soulmate. And I do feel that that is potentially coming into your energy, Scorpio. Thank you for watching. Let me know if it resonates. Take care. Bye.